Hello everyone, today's question is find all anagrams in a string. Given a string S and a non-empty string P, find all the start indices of P's anagram in S. First, we will understand these questions and then we will move to the solution part. So, what we have to do? In, according to our questions, we have to find all start index of P's anagram in S. So, okay. Uh, this is our P string and uh, possible anagram is A, B and B, A. We check A, B or B, A is present in A string or not. If it is present, then we will return the start index. So, this is our result. We check. This is equal to is anagram yes this is equals to so we will return the start index that is 0 and now we move the window we, now we again check is anagram match with this window yes this is match so we return start index that is 1 Again we will check, again we will move the window and check piece anagram with this window. So piece anagram matched with this window, yes this is matched. So we will return the start index. So now 0, 1, 2 is our answer. I hope you understood these questions. Now we will move to the solution part. So now we will solve this problem using this example. So first we count the value, uh, count the character in uh, P. So A is one time, B is one time and C is one time. Okay. So now iteratively we check each character in S and basically we, basically we take three sequence and check with this P. So now our first, now our first three sequences this and we check this is matched with p yes this is matched with p then we will return the starting character index that is 0 again we will check next 3 and now our next 3 is b s b a e this is matched with p no again this with now again we will check this three a e and b and check this will matched with p is anagram no this is not matched with again now we will check this three e b a is matched with p is anagram no again we will check this three b a b is matched with p anagram no so again we will check a b a this is matched with p anagram no again this now we will check b a c this is matched with p's anagram yes this is matched with cause there is one a one b one c so we add the starting index so that is six so now we again checked a c d now we check a C and D this three so this is matched with P's anagram no this is not matched finally uh, we reach the end of this uh, string so we just return the return our answer res result equals to 0 and 6 I hope you you understood this solution so how we implement it so we will take a dictionary we will take a dictionary and start from 0th index index is 0 i is 0 and now check this is present in dictionary no so we simply add it in dictionary as a value 1 so now we check b so after checking b so now we 
add it in dictionary again because this is not match with P's anagram no so again we check this and add it in dictionary so we check this is matched with P's anagram yes this is matched with P's anagram then we will add the start index in that is 0 so now our i is 3 so when we reached greater than alien p minus 1 means when our i is greater than alien p is 3 minus 1 that is 2 when our i greater than 2 then we will check two condition that is we will reduce the last element value from the dictionary so that is our last element element is c so if this this is greater than so then we reduce now our c is so first we will sorry first we will add e first we will add e and then we check our is uh, i is 3 i is greater than 2 so we reduce uh, c by minus 1 and now c is c is 0 c is 0 now we check another condition if the dictionary value is 0 so we will simply remove this from our dictionary so now our window is pointing to this this and this so now we check p a e is equals to p z anagram no this is not so now we again now our i is pointing to 4 i is 4 then we add b b again now our b is 2 so which again i is greater than 2 yes i is greater than 2 so our last value is b b is our last value so we reduce minus 1 sorry our i current i is 2 so 2 minus 1 that is now our b is 1 b is 1 so as uh, b is not equal to 0 so we will not remove b from our dictionary so now our current window value is a e b is equals to a b c no so we will we will move our window so that is we will move our window e b a and our i is 5 so we add a so now our last element is a we remove a from our dictionary so that is now our dictionary a is 1 now our dictionary value is b a e so we check b a e is equals to a b c no so we again will move to the this value so now our window is pointing to this three b a b so our new value is b so we add b and our our last value is e so we reduce e so now e is zero so we will simply remove this from dictionary some from dictionary So now our b is b is 2 a is 1 2 time b and again we will increase our so we will increase our i value that is 6 and that is 7 and now our pointing to this 3 this 3 a b a and last value is b we reduce b minus 1 now our b is 1 and a is a is 2 so we check b a a is matched with p z anagram no b a a is not matched with p z anagram so now we again move to the next value so that is 8 so now our current window value is b a c so we reduce a and now our a is now our a is now our a is this and now we add c c 
seek C is 1 and now we check this is matched with P's anagram yes this is matched with P's anagram this is matched with P's anagram so now we will add the starting index that is B A C so we add our starting index so now we move to the next now this is 9 index i equals to 9 and now we forget the 6 we reduce minus first we add d add d b equals to 1 b equals to 1 and reduce c b sorry b sorry b that is a uh, so now b equals to 0 so we remove it from our dictionary our current window value is a c d a c d is equals to p's anagram no so finally where is the end of this string so we simply return r e s as our answer i hope you understood this solution now we will move to the implementation part first we will count the p's value using counter collection dot counter okay and next we will take a result list and then we will take a dictionary of s and where we count the s value and iteratively we visit each element each character in s and then we check if s i in dictionary then we will increase the dictionary value by one and if it is not present then we will assign this character as a key and value as one else we assign this character in dictionary as a key and value as one and now we check if i is greater than le and p minus one and then we will reduce the last last added value last added character value that is s i minus l e n p l e n p cause here our window size is l e n p minus 1 so now we check if dix s minus l e n p if dix l minus i minus s i minus l n p is equals to equals to 0 then simply we remove it from our dictionary mean if the character value is 0 then we will remove it from our dictionary as we already explained it in our explanation so now we check our dix p is equals to equals to dix s means p's anagram is matched with dix s so we'll, if it is equal then we will append the index in our result list and with we append the starting index so we take starting index i minus l n p minus 1 starting index so here we return our res inside this res we store the index now we'll check working or not okay this is dix capital s yeah so we check it's working or not yes and now we will submit it yeah got accepted i hope you understood this um, solution if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please consider subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you for watching this video